Currently one minute to eight now, of course, as you guys know, with the new time, uh, they aim for 8 a.m. UTC, I believe that just means uh, that that's just English time right now. So I believe it's uh, the rewards should be out right about now. We're on Simon's account. I'm going to start on Simon's. I feel like the middle rewards in the video are always the best ones. So here's my plan. We start on Simon's, then we go to mine, then we go to Jim's real estate. Hopefully that means mine are going to be the luckiest ones. I have no idea though. I just literally posted the video of the Div Rival rewards. If you guys haven't seen that, go and check that out. It's incredible. The luck was just unreal on Simon Zakai. He got like the best player I've packed all year in rewards and the highest rate of player I've packed all year, which is just mental. So let's go ahead and open up these rewards. Now, Simon, actually, one thing I find hilarious, Simon started at like 2 p.m. on Sunday and got Elite 3 just by playing on Sunday. That's how good a player he is. He just got it literally by playing them on Sunday. He messaged me like, yo, bro, uh, I played a quick, <laughs> I played a quick Sunday run and got Elite 3. I was like, and I'm sat here struggling to get Elite 3. That just makes me feel so much better. So, of course, we have Elite 3 Foot Champions rewards. Three player picks with, I believe, five items inside. Um, or four items. I can't, uh, yeah, five items. Uh, a premium team of the week pack, a 100k pack, and 70,000 coins. With, of course, the 2,000 qualification points. So, here we go. In terms of the team of the week, I actually don't know who's in the team of the week. I mean, I do. I know Royce and Cavani are in there, but I can't remember the rest. Um, he said just go for the highest rated ones. Ones that'd be fantastic, both for mine or Simon's account, would be like a David Silva, Cavani, Royce, Depay, anyone like that would be fantastic. For me, later on, I will discuss who I'd like the most out of mine. But in the first one, we're going to get Pali, actually, who I don't think is too bad. He has decent stats, uh, decent, yeah, decent strength, decent jumping. Uh, he's 5'11", so that's not too bad. He's got decent finishing as well. Shame he's a left winger, not a striker, because if this guy was a striker, he'd be really solid. But he is the highest rated, so we'll go ahead and take Plea, or Plea, however you say that guy's name, from Simon's first player pick. I don't think that's bad at all. Uh, and I think that, you know, that, that'll be a solid super sub for most, of course, for Simon. If you guys don't know his team, it's incredible. So there's no way that Simon's going to be subbing off anybody for this guy. But it'd be decent for other people regardless. Let's go ahead and get the next one. What's it going to be? We get Plea again. Of course, this is why, like, that's the one thing that really triggers me. You should not be able to get the same player twice. You just shouldn't, because had I have known that I would get Plea twice, then I, I would have taken one of the 82s, and I would have had an 83 and an 82. But instead, I'm stuck with an 83 and an 81 now. I guess we go with, uh, <laughs> with Cums. <laughs> uh, I guess we go with, with Cums. And I, that's something that, for example, Nepenthes or David Myler has been talking about for ages, is the, the reward system and how... We should get it changed. Hopefully, it does get changed eventually. But last player pick for Simon. The last red player pick of these uh, Elite 3 Foot Champions rewards. What's it going to be? Party. That's decent, actually. That's really solid. 84 rated. Great card. Uh, we packed him earlier in Div Rival rewards for Jim's Real Estate, I believe. Uh, it's just a really, really nice card all around. Fantastic CDM. Probably a great super sub for Simon as well. So we'll go ahead and take Party. That is actually really nice. So uh, not too bad for rewards, actually, for Simon this week. Pretty decent. None of the high-rated marquee ones. However, not too shabby. We'll go ahead and store that. And, of course, we have the 100k pack. And we have the premium team of the week pack yet to open. So let's see what we can get. Let's go with the 100k pack first. Gordier, I'm expecting a walkout on Simon's account. Simon's account is just mad rigged. I'm expecting it. And we don't actually get a walkout. I'm genuinely surprised. Simon's account is, like, on the red list or something. If that even is a thing. I, I don't even know if that's a thing. But if it is, Simon's definitely on the red list. As he gets Kepa, doesn't really back up my point at all. But trust me, he's on the red list, all right? I promise you. I promise you. Um, but you know what? It's okay. Kepa's not bad. Um, we'll go ahead and store that in the club. We also get Horn. Bigly is okay. Nine duplicate items. Damn. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll store those in the club. Store Kepa there. Don't think anybody else here sells. Zielinski isn't selling. Mycon, again, isn't selling. I don't think any of the rest sell. So go ahead and discard. 5,000 coins, not bad. All right. Now for the premium team of the week pack. Come on, EA. Hook a brother up. Can it be something decent? That is the question. We're looking for a Royce, a Cavani, a David Silva, a Chesney, a Depay, uh, a Robertson, uh, a Party, an El Shawawe. Any of those guys would be fantastic. Boom, it's being opened. What is it going to be, eh? It's going to be a walkout. That is fantastic already. We're, we're happy with that. It's going to be one of the better players. What is it going to be? Polish goalkeeper. It's going to be Wolszek Szczesny. That is fantastic. 87 rated. Have no idea what he goes for. Let's see. 
65,000 coins, so that is solid. Really, really nice. As well, we have a chance of getting a Depay, a Robertson, a Royce, um, a party or an El Shawawe, or of course, maybe a plea or someone like that. So that is fantastic. It's a high rated one. Let's see if there's anything else in this pack that is noticeable or noticeable, notable. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Go on, EA. Is it going to be anything else decent in the pack? Oh my word. And Robertson. What a pack. Oh my God. How much is Robertson going for? A hundred thousand coins. What a pack. You got Robertson and Chesney in the same pack. That is a fantastic Elite 3 pack. And my bill. No idea who you even are, but you know what? Hey, how you doing, brother? Welcome. Uh, that is incredible. That right there is absolutely fantastic. We'll store all of those to the transfer list. I know Simon is going to be elated with that. So, now for my rewards. Now for my foot champions rewards. Here we go. Now, a little bit of backstory. I actually got my highest finish this week of 22 and 8 was one away from Elite 3, and the disappointing thing is, is that I was comfortably winning in a game, it wasn't my last game, it was midway through the week, so I can't really, you know, it was midway through the weekend, sorry, I can't really solely blame it on this, but I was I was midway through the weekend, I was comfortably winning, like 3 or 4 nil, and the, all the power goes out, the, the plugs specifically, actually, uh, my roommate Morgan, or Morgs, you guys might know him, he's another YouTuber, um, he actually tripped one of the wires, and, uh, and turned all the plugs off, what a smart child. So, uh, sadly, uh, I lost out on Elite 3, um, which I'm really hoping to try and get soon. I've been grinding, really trying to get better at the game, and I'm hoping to finally get my first Elite 3 finish soon. Uh, hopefully, it's this weekend or maybe next weekend. We'll see. Uh, and hopefully, we can inc in increase our team and improve our team. Our team's already fantastic, but any improvements we can make from any rewards would be great. Now, in terms of the red player picks, I would personally love either a Royce Cavani David Silva, Depay, Robertson, Party, or El Shawawe. In terms of starters, the only starters would be Chesney or uh, Robertson. Robertson would get in there and I'd sell Alexandro and Chesney would get in there over Handanovic. Um, but we get three player picks, two player picks, sorry, of four items. Uh, we get two 100k packs and 50,000 coins as well. So let's go ahead with our red player picks. Come on, EA, hook a brother up. We'll start off with the second one. What is it going to be? It's going to be Rami. 84 rate is decent, but uh, couldn't have been like Robertson though, could it? <sighs> I've got a weird, like, I probably won't. I'm probably completely wrong. I've just got a weird feeling that the next one's going to have two really good players in it. I'm going to have to make a really tough decision. So we'll take Rami, of course, the 84 rated. So he'll help with any SBCs and whatnot. Here we go with our second player pick. Is it going to be something good? Please, EA. Come on. What is it going to be? I was completely wrong. I don't know why. I had a weird gut feeling about it, but uh, but never mind. I guess we'll just take Hector. It doesn't really matter. We'll take Hector there. I get it's another week of pretty mediocre, uh, uh, you know, rewards. I guess pretty mediocre red player picks. I mean, I did get Manlas a couple of weeks ago, but I feel like holding on to that and being grateful just because I got Manlas a couple of weeks ago. Probably isn't the best idea because, you know, it's just going to mean like in three months time, I'm going to be like, oh, I got, Ram I got Manlas three months ago. So, you know, it's one of those. But hopefully we can get something good in our tradable 100k packs. So we'll start off with the first one. Come on, EA. What are we going to get? Something decent. No walkout. Oh, that's fantastic. It's going to be an inform. So that's not bad, at least. It's going to be Belgian, centre mid, have not comes. It's going to be comes. I was going to say, I have no idea who it is, but I do know who it is. It's comes. Uh, 81 rated. Might sell for a little bit for a SBC, you know, fodder or whatever. But apart from that, I don't think this guy is going to be going for anything. Uh, it might have to just be a discard, really. Anything else decent in the pack, though? Something something good? Anything? Uh, we get Draxo and Eric Bai. Uh, I don't know if Cum is Cum's going for anything. Cum's is discard. Uh, Eric Bai, are you selling for anything, please? Anything at all? Like 2,000 coins as well. So I'll list you up for like 2k. Uh, we'll, we'll just discard Cum's, I think. Um, we'll, di we'll send... Hang on. No, wait. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, what, what am I doing here? Okay, this is, this is, this is, this has gone, this has gone horribly wrong. So, we'll list you up for like a 1,100 and then we'll just get rid of all of these cards here because we really don't need any of them and they're just, they're not going to sell for anything. So, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll do this. So, uh, we've got nine items left. We'll get 17,000 coins. We'll just take the 17k, 200k in the bank now. Come on EA, please, something decent, please. Here we go. Last 100k pack for my gold one rewards. It's not going to be a walkout. Tough week 
Very tough week, actually. Damn, that's that's actually a super disappointing week for me. Uh, not happy with that at all. Damn. Like, I'm actually really disappointed. Not a single walkout in any of my rewards. In fact, my rewards were pretty bad this week. That, that just doesn't feel like I've been, you know, rewarded for spending as much time and money on the game this week as I have. Because I've spent a lot of time and money this week. So... Doesn't feel that rewarding, sadly, uh, and that's not great, but we'll take the rest of the players, I guess. We get another Lucas Laver as well. We'll, uh, I guess we'll just list him up for like 2.5 or whatever he sells for, uh, and we'll discard the rest. But of course, we have Jim's real estate account to open, and hopefully Jim's rewards are better than mine because they were a travesty. All right, and now for Jim's real estate rewards. Now, Jim actually only got silver one. Uh, Jim's, uh, oh, I keep calling him Jim. His name's actually George, but we'll call him Jim. Uh, Jim had a lot of exams and stuff like that, but uh, I still wanted to open these because I wanted to see what the lower end, and I don't mean that in any type of offense at all. When I say that, I don't mean to be offensive when I say lower end. I'm not trying to call people that get silver one bad players. I just mean the not the not gold one slash elite level. Um, I always want to open a, a lesser reward section to compare it to my own, compare it to like Simon's, for example. So let's see what Jim gets in his silver one pack he actually gets party who is a lot better than all of my picks so that's pretty crazy and oh my i just realized i packed party untradeable for him already oh uh, um i don't know what to do here i'm not entirely sure what to do here uh the thing is it's an 84 rated card for sbcs and the other one counts as an inform for sbcs as well so uh I'm not entirely sure what to do here. Let me message him and I'll, I'll I'll get back. Jim said take party because of course it's it's the it's the value of having an 84 8 player in the club. Uh, maybe an 82 would have been just as good. It's a player that he doesn't already have, but we might as well just take party because then he can use the inform as an inform in an SBC that needs an inform, and then he's got the red card as well, you know. So he's got a jumbo premium gold players pack, which is a double premium gold players pack and a mega pack. So they're both tradable. Let's go ahead and open the jumbo premium gold players pack, which I haven't actually opened one of these yet. I think ever. So this is the first for me. What's it going to be? It's going to be a Spanish centre-back. It's going to be Raul Albion. 84 rated. Not too shabby, actually. Not bad. I think that's like the same as all of the... I think that's the highest rated player out of all the 100k packs. Right? I think so. So we'll go ahead and store all these. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Marshall in the same pack. Oh, my word. I was saying, oh, wow, at the size of the pack. How much is Marshall selling for? Wow. 11, oh, 11,000 coins. Even still, that, that's decent. We'll go ahead and list them up for 11,250. That's sick. I, I, I was saying, oh, wow, at the size. Oh, wait, what? Trade couldn't be completed. What? Hello? EA? EA? What the hell? I have no idea what, what was going on. We'll just send them to the transfer list for now. No, no idea what that's about. Anyway, Mega Pack. Here we go. Come on, EA. Give us a walkout at least. Yes! we get, I mean, we get a walkout. Let's go. Come on, what's it going to be? It's going to be an 86 plus. It's tradable as well. German. Center forward. Muller. 86 rated. Not too shabby. How much is Muller selling for? Thomas the Mule Muller. He is going for 17,000 coins. Not bad. Actually, really good rewards. 28,000 coins worth of players there from the two packs. Might even be something else decent in this pack. We might have some solid pulls. And a Jorginho. Not actually too shabby. I don't know how much Jorginho is selling for. Hello? EA? What the heck? I have no idea what is going on. I think my Xbox is tripping out right now. We send them both to the transfer list regardless. Uh, anything else duplicate-wise? Gilavoji, we send him to the transfer list as well. So, that is it for the Foot Champs Rewards. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like down below. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for the support recently. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you later.